Today, I'm gonna show you how to feed Baker's fondant to your bees. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. welcome to Gwenny Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now today, this is a beekeeping video and specifically talking how to feed Baker's fondant to bees. Now I've showed in lots of videos how to feed purpose-made fondant to bees. This is slightly different. This is human grade bacon fondant, the kind of baker's fondant that they use in cakes and custard slices, etc. But it's a perfectly good feed to feed your bees if you want to save a bit of money or you just can't get purpose-made feed for whatever reason. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the different ways to feed it to nukes, uh, the different types of nukes, full-size hives, because feeding this is slightly different. There's a little bit more uh, faff and fuss to it, and uh, I'll just show you how to do that in this video. So with that, let's get into it. Now, feeding this fondant is slightly different to the purpose-made feeds. The purpose-made feeds comes in ready to go bag, so everything's quick and easy. There is a bit more work involved with this lab because this comes in one big 12.5 kilo slab. So you've got to make your own containers or bags to place on the hive because as this is now, it's just way too big and unusable. So one of the best ways to feed it is in microwave containers, just like this. And just grabbing this can be quite hard. So if you take a knife and just cut chunks out of it, it just makes it a lot easier to get out. And that's what you're looking for, that's the kind of texture you want. Make sure when you're buying Baker's fondant, you're buying the Baker's, the correct Baker's fondant. This Baker's fondant, it's only got three ingredients. So it's got sugar, glucose syrup and water. There's no other additives or ingredients in there that might be toxic to your bees. Uh, so if you go down the supermarket and buy, sometimes they got ready to roll ice in, they call it. That's full of other E's and chemicals and agencies. Don't feed that to your bees. Make sure it's uh, this type of baker's fondant, which has only got the three ingredients. Because this is a safe enough feed to use. Beekeepers have been using baker's fondant since the 18th century to feed their bees. So it's the oldest form of bee feed, really. And uh, it's still in use today. So that's the kind of texture you want it. Almost like self-leveling, but very sticky. And when it's nice and supple like that, the bee is gonna be able to munch through that really easy, no problem. And the reason I put it in a container like this is, so I'll show you later on when we feed this to the hive, we're gonna invert it on the hive. You want the rest of this to remain fresh, so it's gotta be sealed. If this would just be left open like that with the air going down to it, it'll dry up, it'll go too hard, and the bees won't be able to use it whatsoever. And that's why the purpose-made feed, that comes in plastic bags already, and it's the same system with those bags. You just cut a hole in it, invert it, put the hole above the clown board. We're essentially making the same thing here, but with microwave containers. Or, if you haven't got microwave containers, Freezer bag does a good job as well. And I'll show you how to do a freezer bag and uh, we'll go feed some bees with this. If you're low on time, then Baker's fondant really isn't an option for you. Because if you're feeding a lot of bees, there is a lot of hassle back at the yard where you've got to make all these bags and boxes up before you go. But then again, this is half the price of ready-made bee feed. So there is a massive saving to be had then. It's probably why a lot of bee farmers 
they still use Baker's fondant today. Put a bit more in there. Texture is absolutely spot on in this fondant. This is uh, Britannia super fine Baker's fondant made in the UK and it's probably one of the better ones out there. And the best thing about this, it tastes delicious as well. Bit messier. But that's what we're looking for. Totally seal. Now what I'll do now, before I go on the hive, I'll cut the hole in there and place that above the clown board. And it's doing the same job. So, I'm gonna cut this block up now, make a lot of feed packets ready to go. And we'll put it on some beers. Now as you're cutting through the bag, you're getting a bit of excess plastic. And what you can do then, makes things a bit easier when you slice in your way through it. Cut through the bag. And then you've got something to wrap the feed in, so there's no need to bag it or put it in a container. You're reusing the plastic that's coming in. And that's gonna be a perfect sealer on there as well. So we got roughly, I don't know, a kilo and a half of feed in there. So it does get easier once you cut through, use the bag that comes in. And if you haven't got freezer bags or containers, cling film will do it, a shopping bag will do it. Anything plasticky, it's gotta be clean, just to stop that from drying out. Right, so I've just cut that big slab up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight microwave containers, and one, two, three of the blue wrap it comes in, and there's two freezer bags underneath. Now there's pros and cons of whichever way you feed this. This being probably the best way. You invert this, go back in a week's time, you can see if the bees have been eating this way, the way through it. So you can take that off, fill it up, put another one on. But the downside with that, especially this one, it's a deeper container. That might affect the way the lid sits on the hive. That one there. Not so much. That's the best way with the plastic then. What can happen is the plastic falls down on itself, seals the rest of the sugar off so the bees might not be able to get at it. I have seen bees chew their way through this plastic in the past, so it may or may not be a problem. But with wrapping it up like that, it's not really gonna affect your lid. But there's no way around it, feeding it in the microwave containers is the best way uh, with this type of feed to make sure that the bees have always got access to the fondant. Right there, there's nothing left to do now but to show you how to feed this feed onto a hive. Wanna get the bee suit on and I'll see you down by the hives. So we're at some nukes. That one's okay. That one's definitely okay. Alright, that one's a little bit light. So, with these BS and the bee nukes, it's quite easy to feed the fondant. Inside the feeder, there's a plug. Take the plug out. Let's bring the camera down to show you. Just take the plug out. And before the bees know what's happening, we're just gonna put the fondant on over the hole. 
keep that plug in there so we don't lose it. And we're not even disturbing the bees at all. They're not losing heat or anything. We've just whacked the feed on. Lid back on. That easy. And we're on the maze more. So you never a cut a lot of cut comb in there. Just put it out the way for now. We need to slide this bit out. Can I see some bees? Yeah, they're in there. And with this slab, there's no need to cut this because it's just wrapped in plastic. Now where I've Ooh, that was a close one. Where I've taken this divider out now, the bees can get access to that now because this divider stops them going in to that compartment for when you feed in the liquid feed. So you've got to take that out for feeding the fondant. A oh, bit more wedge black in these bees. I'll put that back in there because I don't want to lose it. Put that there. So that's the BS honeybees and the maize mod done. Obviously the BS honeybees nukes, that's the easiest to do and one of the reasons they're my favourite nuke as well. So right here we've got a commercial, a bare low nuke. Microwave container works really well with this type. I'm just going to put it there. And that's as simple as that. I don't need to be taking my time looking at these bees today. They're pretty quiet. I don't want to get stung too many times. So you've got nothing again to go through your bees now. As long as they're alive now, that's good enough. Put some feed on them if they need it. If they don't, don't waste your time. So here we are, full size hive. We're going to give it a microwave container trick. Crown board, invert it over, simple as that. The bees don't even know I've been there. Now with this roof, that container isn't interfering at all with it, but we've got the extra deep on here. I think this is either a five inch, or yeah, it's definitely five, not four. So there's less play there. So another full size hive. We're gonna give them the bag trick. Well, the plastic bag it comes in. We're just going to expose a bit of that. You don't need to expose that much, but that's just how this fold worked this time. Take that off, I know I'm here. Job done. Oh, got in just in time there. Really sat in the rain. Not everybody needed a feed, so that's not a problem. And just a stress, when you're checking your bees now, when you're feeding them, don't go through the frames, don't go in, take the clown board off if you don't have to, leave the bees in the cluster, just get in and off, put the feed on, you're not gaining anything by going through your bees at this time of year, midwinter, that's all we're doing, hefting, if they're low, we slap a bit of feed on. That's it, don't do any more than that. Because the risk is, you get tempted, you just wanna go in there and have a look at some bees, see if there's brood, etc. Chill them all down and you can kill them. So this time you just read a book, watch YouTube, don't go through your bees. So we're coming to the end of this video and just to recap, there are pros and cons of using this feed compared to uh, purpose made feed. Purpose made feed is very quick, simple and easy. This feed is pretty much half the price, but like you saw today, there is a bit more faff with it. But regardless, they're both good quality feeds to feed your bees. Don't forget, if you're ever in the market for bee feed or beehive equipment, we're in the shed here where I store my stuff just underneath here. 
I've got a pallet full of baker's fondant. Happy to send that out right out across the UK. Some fonda bee in the back, got some happy pasta here as well. We're very competitive on prices. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something new. That, and as you know, you can feed baker's fondant to your bees if you want to. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.